Have you ever wanted to paint on wood, but didn't know where to start, or thought painting was too difficult? Well, watch me as I show you how to do some very simple painting that will really make your wood projects pop. Today, I'm gonna to make a wood bookmark charm to add to a book that I just made. If you wanna know how to make these simple books, I'll add a link in the description to Vintage Page Designs. This website is dedicated to teaching the art of making handmade books and journals. This particular book is called a brown bag journal and is pretty simple. You can use any type of paper. I got some amazing handmade papers with wildflower petals from their store. So the first thing you'll need to do is cut out your shapes. I'm gonna be doing a woodland critter collection on my epilogue laser. But you could also hand cut these on a scroll saw. Next, you're gonna clean off the burned edges and create a smooth surface. I use 220 grit sandpaper, wrap it around some scrap wood Place your cutout flat on the sandpaper and gently apply pressure, moving in a circular motion. Once the burn is removed, you're ready for painting. I'm going to be demonstrating on a little fox and some deer. You'll need a palette for the paint. I just use a plastic top. A jar of clean water, some small brushes, and paper towels. I'm gonna mix some acrylic paints in orange, red, and maroon to get the color for my fox. When you're happy with your color, you're just gonna add some water. The amount of water that you add will determine how translucent the paint is. Cover the whole surface with a liberal amount of paint then let dry. I work on several at the same time, so have extras ready to go. While the fox is drying, I'm going to work on a couple of deer, just to show you a few different techniques to add some details that really make these eye-catching, but still quite simple. I'm doing just a base coat of a light brown. The paint actually dries fairly fast on wood as it gets soaked into the grains. Back to the little fox. I'm adding a touch of black on what would be the front legs, as well as a little diluted black for the tail. and maybe a smidge on the tip of the ear. For the big deer, I'm adding just a line on the outside of one ear. Then we'll add white on the neck and chest, which goes from under the chin to between the legs. I'll look at reference photos on my computer to help me with these details. Looks like the white is just under the face too. Add a little to under the belly. Just beneath the tail. and I'm gonna barely touch the back of the legs. I feel like this is a little too much on the neck 
So I'm just gonna add a little brown over the white. I'll do a similar painting on the fawn. Now to add some spots. I have three things you can use. The dotting tool, a toothpick, or a brush with a very fine tip. The dotting tool has one metal end with a tiny ball for creating dots. Add a little paint and gently tap. The dotting tool gives you more control, but a brush and a toothpick work fine too. Let's add some touches of white on our little fox friend. Not much, just a little on the lower jaw, the chest, and the tail. Finally, add a tap on the nose with a little black. Here are a few examples for my Woodland collection. You can add as much or as little detail as you want. You can even leave them blank and sell them or give them away as a DIY kit. If you like what you see here and want to watch more or ask questions, I'll be doing a live session while painting more of these. You can watch as I add a lot of detail to some of these, like the porcupine, raccoon, and turkey. These are addictive and a lot of fun and even very calming. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can join me in my live. So you can use these in all kinds of projects, like as a little charm for a bookmark or even jewelry. I use them on my magnets and ornaments too. Now let's make our bookmark. Measure your ribbon using your book as a reference and cut. I like to give a quick blast of a torch to seal the end. It's very flammable, so be careful with this. I use wax paper to protect my work area. We're just going to be using a few drops of super glue or CA glue. Put this on the back of the charm at the top by the head. Then add your ribbon. It only takes a few minutes to set in place. Now check to make sure that it's dry and secure. Look how cute this is. So this little book is actually an accordion book that you can add photos and write in. You could glue the bookmark on the inside of the back page if you want, but I like to be able to use these in other books. Close your book, pull the ribbon to the desired length, and let hang down over the front cover. And that's it. This book is all set to give away or keep for yourself. Please give us a thumbs up, comment, and share with a friend. We'll see you next time.